reading to you from one of the great capitals in Europe. We are talking to you from the Portuguese capital, Lisbon. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Sporting up against Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. the lineup for Sporting. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And here's the starting 11 for Frankfurt. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one underway Nuno Santos he continues his run options in the centre will he find the net oh crucial tackle brilliant Kono Muani. Trincao. Manuel Ugarte. Now with Edwards. Big chance. And a goal it is. No long wait for the opener today. Well, this deserves another look. Just see the bend he gets on the ball. That's a great bit of skill and an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. How can they open up the defence here? Good, sir. Real chance. Oh, that goes down as a wonderful save. But hang on. Offside is the decision here. Marcus Edwards. Morita. Very comfortable when in possession. Will it be? Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Not giving him a moment's peace. Daichi Kamada. 
Gibril So. Here's Goodson now. Oh, could be. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Pedro Gonzalez. Morita. Coates. Marcus Edwards. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Can he put them in front? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Gibril So, Kono Muani, Daichi Kamada, back to Gutze, giving the ball away, Morita, Marcus Edwards, the attack continues, they're making considerable progress, but they took care of the situation defensively. Bode. Jesper Lindström. Götze. Bode. Götze. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Playing it in, and it still could be dangerous. Can they take the lead here? Pivotal moment defensively. Morita. It's with Nuno Santos. Marcus Edwards. Good-looking sequence, doing well to keep possession. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Nuno Santos, Hidamasa Morita. The ball with Sebastian Coates. He's given it straight to the opposition. Lindström. Mario Götze. Jesper Lindström. Jakic. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But quick thinking defensively. Manuel Ugarte. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Can they forge ahead? Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. He's managed to lose his marker. It needs an accurate cross. Can he give them the lead? Oh no, and that's a really disappointing effort from there. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Gonzalo Inacio. Pedro Porro. Manuel Ugarte. It's with Porro. Edwards. Ugarte. Pedro Gonzalves and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross Jesper Lindström Jakic definitely look as though they want to make this move count but timely defending when it mattered Hidemasa Morita Pedro Gonzalves, useful looking ball. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Lindstrom. Koro Muani. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. But you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Gonzalo Inacio. Manuel Ugarte. Mateus Reis. Nuno Santos. What can Sporting do from this position? A fine reading of the situation. Mario Götze. That's a confident run from Götze. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. And showing a real will to win the ball. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Order. 
Here's Goodson now. And an astute piece of defending. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. It has to be! And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Pedro Porro. Can they nudge in front late on here? Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And possibilities here. Counter attacking, very much an option. That's really good and effective physical play. Pellegrini. Good sir. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. Being egged on by the crowd. This could square the game. But no, thanks to the goalkeeper. Opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser, and there's not long left now. And cut again from the flank. Surely! Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game! Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes.